See that heartbreak no be beans. Crying myself to sleep every day. What if it's a spiritual something? In my mind that period, the universe is against me. I remember somebody telling me that, oh, I should try and get pregnant for him. She was always falling sick so that he was AS. Tears just come out from my eyes. Bongo was my partner. You know, time cannot make somebody end relationship. What if I have a child and I lost the child? Like she died at the middle of crisis. hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're my channel subscribers thank you for always coming back to support me i'm so so grateful and if you're seeing my face for the very first time hi my name is jennifer i'm a youtuber based in lagos state nigeria please consider subscribing because you're definitely on the right channel okay so guys before i go into this video i want to apologize for any noise that you are going to be hearing because i definitely know that you guys may be hearing one or two noise because like, people are around the compound and they are making a lot of noise i don't know why but you see this video i'm going to film it today i have actually filmed this particular video like last week yes yeah, last week sunday but three minutes into editing the video i just realized that Mm -mm, i'm not going to post that video you know when you finish filming a video and you just realize that no this video is not something that you want to post if you're the one you will not think you want to watch this video so when i was editing it three minutes into editing i was just like no i cannot upload this video because if i'm the one i will not watch this video one of the things that even make me to not upload the video and i'm, I'm not saying what you guys want to hear but just pardon me i just want to explain to you guys that i filmed this video before but i could not post this one of the things that make me not to even post it is that that video i was too serious like i was not smiling i know it's heartbreaking something but we have gone past that so this is me coming here to come and refilm this video again with a smile on my face so please like share and leave a comment below and subscribe if you have not so as you can see in the title i want to tell you guys how genotypes have me breakfast like how my relationship of four years plus ended because of both of us were actually as so let's just go right into the video so guys let me start from the beginning me and this person started dating 2018 december that is when i accepted that i'm going to date this person after so many chase chase <laughs> And, and everything was going really well we shall have our own one or two fights relationship issue now like there's no relationship without fights you guys will fight and reconcile so 2018 2019 let me just remove 2018 out of the picture 2019 2020 21 when the lockdown period were together and all that then 2022 one day he was just like ah, why not it's like we're watching a movie of a uh, genotype like they were having issue with their genotype time like they are as and all that my partner was like why not we we'll go and do our genotype test i was like okay is that really necessary i know that even if i'm as you're going to be aa like i so much believe that this guy was going to be aa then he was like okay let's go and just do the test like jokingly i was like what if we go to the hospital and do the test and we now realize that both of us we have the same genotype like we are as he was like stop playing it's not funny and we just laugh about it so that's what that's not 22 we shall did not do the test then 2023 we became serious about it and then one day he was like he remembered that he has done tests before in 2019 when they have the uh, program in office and he remembered that his test about the genotype was as but he did not actually know where he kept his result again that was when i was now like this thing is becoming serious so then i told him to gig in and do the test by that time i've not done my test then like ending of may last year i went to the hospital to do my own test i remember i did the test on saturday like i ran from work to hospital to go and do that test and they told me to come back on sunday to come and pick up the test result like i was so praying that okay let me just be aa so i went to the hospital that on sunday to pick up the test result and when i get to the hospital they told me that the doctor that's supposed to sign is not on seat that i have to wait for 30 minutes and that day i was actually in a hurry to go and attend my village i was like oh i cannot wait can they send it for me they was like okay yeah they can send it for me and uh, they gave me their whatsapp number and told me that okay in 30 minutes or one hour's time i should chat this number and tell the person what i want i was like okay so i went to the meeting i was in the meeting when i chatted the person the number up i was like 
I did tests in your hospital and they told me to chat you up in social time. I did social tests because I did my genotype test and my blood group test. It's not even because I did everything like 5,000 something. I did not actually know my blood group and I did not know my genotype. And the person asked me to send my receipt number, which I did. And it was not up to, let me say, one minute or 30 seconds. And the person just sent the result for me. The first place my eye went to was just like genotype side. Like I was not even interested in the blood group side my eye just went to straight to genotype side and i just saw as immediately tears just come out from my eyes like it was just as if the tears was waiting like standby like okay in case the result is not okay the tears will just come out and i just shed tears i quickly clean it all because i was in a meeting and my partner was there also because we are from the same community guys i'm sorry if you're hearing any noise please so i can remember that the first person i sent the results to was my best friend janet i was like janet I am AS and immediately she told me that I knew that you were going to be AS like I've always knew like I immediately I became so sad like my face my mood just changed automatically then I shall endure me and my friend were just chatting she was trying to encourage me after the meeting that was when I told my partner but that time he has not done his own test we did not do tests in the same hospital I just told my partner I am AS he was like are you serious he know that joke a lot so he was like if you know that you are as let me see the result then i showed him the result and he was like okay i have to go and do my test first since he has told me that he has done tests before i was like what if you go and do another test miracle can happen no but what if you are actually as what are we going to do he was like okay let me wait first so until he go to the hospital so that we will know what to do the next step and all that i was like okay we're still cool but deep inside me i was sad and i was scared i was like god please can you just do this miracle to happen like this heartbreak <laughs> this heartbreak no be so please let this miracle just happened if he goes to the hospital let's see happen that he is a then it was like two weeks later when he sent his results to me apparently he has done his test like one week after i did my own but he did not know how he wants to like tell me about it because he shall know that me i'm going to be heartbroken him as a man he can control himself but me as a woman i'll feel like okay i'm the loser so that day i was at work he sent the results for me and then i went through the result i saw that he was as i was like oh my god jesus christ why have you forsaken me am i not your daughter <laughs> he was like called him and i was just crying he was like oh this is the reason why he did not even want to talk about it or send me the result because he knows that i'm going to cry my eyes out it's like that time i was always crying because i knew that okay if we end up becoming as there's no way this relationship is going to continue because i know what sickle cell anemia people go through i know the pace because i have a cousin sister that died of sickle cell in 2013 i know the kind of pain that he always go through and she has this injury in her leg that do not always go like if the injury died before one week later the injury will come back like she was always falling sick so i shall know that the relationship is not going to continue then that day i remember when he came back from work it was like my place or his place where she was talking and i was giving him some examples of people and he was also giving me some example we're talking going back and forth and all that but the conclusion was that we shall know that the relationship was not going to go anywhere like this is just the end of the relationship but we shall want to do it in a proper way when nobody is going to get hurt like nobody is going to feel like oh you betrayed me and all that but, like we talked about it for weeks like almost every time sometimes you will not want to bring up the topic because you will not want me to feel sad sometimes i'll be at work i would just start crying i'll be like why is it that god do not like me that period i was telling god god i know you hate me you hate me god please i know you don't hate me <laughs> in my mind that period the universe is against me like the worst has happened to me like nobody likes me god do not like me what am i doing in this head blah 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 and like i was just saying things that i was not supposed to say in my mouth god you know say this your daughter be the heartbroken <laughs> we shall talk and talk and talk and just concluded that okay the relationship was not going to work out yeah but he was always making sure that i'm okay he comes to come and check up on me when i'm at work he check up on me like we're still seeing but we always try not to be seen the we were seeing before again 
so that each of us will shall move on i remember i started receiving advice from people i remember somebody telling me that oh i should try and get pregnant for him what if it's a spiritual something what if it's a lie what if the hospital made a mistake mind you we did not go to the same hospital to do the test like after we did the test in separate hospital both of us did not go to the hospital because i just feel like me i did not like that i was as i know he did not lie because there was somebody that told me what if he lied i was like <laughs> I don't see any reason for him to lie if this person do not want me will just come up to me and tell me that he do not want me and i actually find the test result in his room so after him showing me i find the test result in his room like i saw the original and i saw the photocopy so i don't see any reason why he needs to lie and if he choose to lie because he do not want the relationship again hello <laughs> have you seen me have you seen this beautiful girl so why do i have to chase him or prove a point to him if he did not want to actually be with me. I'm a fine girl and then they rush me. So if he choose to lie, which I don't believe it, that one is his own business. As I was saying, somebody was like, oh, why not you get pregnant for him and see if the child is going to be a secret sex carrier. Like just try maybe one or two. I was like, uncle, it was a guy that was giving me the advice. I was like, no, please, I cannot do it too. Please do not do it they will run and leave you they will not be there for you like when they are giving me the advice i'll just be nodding my head then i will just go and tell him because him he does not talk you can stay from now to tomorrow with him he will not say anything so people are always scared of like asking him anything because they shall know that he's not going to talk me i just told the people that are really really close to me in case they see him with anybody because we both need to move on i need to move on he need to move on like we cannot tie ourselves down because it's not going to work so in case they see him with anybody they should not feel like uh -uh, is this person not jennifer boyfriend why is he with social person or come and report to me so i told people that are really close to me and some of them gave me their advice some were praying for me even up to now some people do not know that we are actually broke up because it's people that we feel like okay it's necessary for them to know that we told people that will just feel like that one is none of their business we do not say see the reason why i'm sharing this thing is that i watched a video of a gear crying saying that her relationship of three years ended because of genotype i was just like auntie i was i was in this shoe like i know what you are going through the only difference between me and you is that me i do not feel my own and then i went to the comment section and some people were like i don't think genotype can make you end relationship oh there are other ways to have children you see that time that i found out that both of us were as like there is nothing i do not research like gogo was my partner every time i always go online and search what if as and as get married what will happen if they have a child i was reading and watching youtube videos and the best option is just for you to work out so when i saw that video and i went to the comment section and people were just telling the gear oh a genotype cannot make somebody end relationship there are other ways what's of adoption blah 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 see a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage you guys are not compatible is you guys are not compatible another person will come tomorrow you will get married so why do you want to go and stick into a relationship knowing fully well that okay this relationship tomorrow is going to be bitter like that's why my partner will always my ex right now he's my ex <laughs> he will always tell me that there is one particular woman in our village that gets married to a guy two both of them are from my village so they shall knew that they are as both of them but they went ahead to get married the woman lost two of her child guess what the guy is no longer there like the man is no longer in the picture the man left and married another woman but right now the person that is suffering it is the woman so if they want to give you that advice what you should do and what you should not do shall know that you as a woman you'll be the one that will suffer it like i saw my cousin sister go through pain she died in Port Harcourt and they brought her back to the village like she died at the middle of crisis so i was like what if i have a child and i lost the child so nobody should advise you telling you it's a spiritual something or all that or the guy lie if the guy wants to lie let the guy lie nobody should tell you to go and make a mistake and get pregnant first and see 19 of last month was sickle cell war awareness day so a lot of people share their experience like sharing the how they go through pains like videos when they are going through pains i saw a boy saying god should just take his life so if you feel like you want to lie you so that okay you and your partner can get married just remember that there's a lot in front of you that you are going to go through i know it's painful to be honest it's painful the reason why i'm talking about it right now 
<laughs> it's because i've heard it to be honest and i saw another video again of a guy sharing how genotype make him and his girlfriend to separate like the guy was crying men go through the pains too like it's just that they don't always show it to you as a woman because they want you to be strong they are always like the pillar i remember like my ex who always tried to check up on even up to today he always still call me like always check up on me see that heartbreak no be beans that heartbreak i say wait a no be beans like i saw myself crying every day like crying myself to sleep every day let me say i was even depressed because i do not even know what i was doing again and the worst thing when it comes to me is that anytime i'm going through a lot anytime i'm going through a lot of things in my life i don't like talking about it so the reason why i'm talking about it right now is because i have totally healed so if i'm going through a lot of things i don't talk about it until when i hear i will cry alone i will do whatever i want to do alone i will not talk to anybody about it because i feel like okay if i want to tell somebody about it that will make me think about it the more so i will just want to dwell in my sorrow alone i don't want to share with anybody and that's it always make my friend to be angry jenna she will be like okay don't worry do you think everybody have their own problem they are going through somebody will go out of his or her way to ask what is going on you will just keep it to yourself don't you know that that person care <laughs> that is why the person is asking you but that is just me for me and the worst thing is seeing that person move on and you have not even moved on because the person needs to move on you will not say the person down another thing is that losing a relationship that is almost going to somewhere like you know the direction of this relationship already i know this person character this person is my best friend like i'm comfortable with this person and tomorrow you just wake up and realize that you guys are not compatible again i know it's hard to move on it's hard to leave that is why some people want to stay at the end of the day they will not suffer it but my advice is for you to just leave and go it's better for you guys to just be friends my only two advice if you're dating somebody right now if you don't even talk reach one month it, one month is even too late please just go and check your genotype so that you don't get heartbroken no? because you see <laughs> the pains if you know that you are as so if you are talking to somebody please ask the person what is your genotype me like if i ask you what is your genotype if you don't want to tell me uncle be going you are not serious i don't want stress like i know what i went through i don't even want to go through that kind of pains again so yeah have you heard me that is my story that is how genotype served me breakfast but right now me and my partner we are like me and my ex i don't know why i'm still saying my partner my partner it's my ex me and my ex we are cool at this point he's not even my ex he's my friend my brother it depends the way you are somebody takes a break not be every s supposed to be enemy even when sometimes some people will see it together or feel like okay you guys are still like doing uh they do a book we are not doing anything we are just friends so yeah this is the end of the video if you enjoy watching this video please like and please leave a comment below at the comment section have your relationship ended because of gender type or do you know anybody that gender type makes their relationship to end because they are not compatible just let me know at the comment section okay share your experience or if you know any other person experience just share it at the comment section and if you're watched to this point and you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button turn on your bell icon to be notified anytime i upload another video I will see you in my next video. See our baby girl Jenny. Bye for now. Bye bye.